Hi, this is Lauren from LSP Actions and in this video tutorial for the LSP Signature Newborn Action Suite, I'm going to show you how to use the Fix Blanket Creases Photoshop Action. Now the easiest and fastest way to fix blanket creases is to pull those blankets tight in camera, but I'm not here to lecture you. So here you have the LSP Blanket Creases Fixer in the Signature Newborn set. You have instructions um, which you can click and they bring this up just to remind you how to use it um, if you get stuck at any point. So hit the blanket crease action to play. If you're not sure how to set your Photoshop actions up or anything like that please do watch the overview video tutorial number one. I'm just jumping straight in assuming you um, have everything set up ready to go like this. Change your brush to 100% opacity and around 10% flow. You're on a blank layer here. Hold down Alt and select um, an area of colour near your crease. A good colour, not the colour within the crease. Crease is quite often darker and lighter. Creases are basically contrast in your image. So what you're going to do is select that and start brushing this over the area of the crease. Try not to get this on the newborn skin or um, any other areas, but at the same time there is a layer mask attached right here. So you can click on that and use a black brush to hide. So you can see there, that's rubbed it away. And again, I'm just going to click here. Now if you have um, different tones, for example, you have some shadowing, um, you can just keep alt clicking to make sure that the colour you're brushing over keeps integrity with your image. So just brush and brush until you're happy. You could work with a higher flow brush, but I find 10% is great because it just allows you to brush and brush and brush until you, you're happy with the level of fade of that crease. Now not all creases are going to vanish, some of them are very heavily textured, especially creases in the foreground. I'm going to show you um, how to remove those in just a minute, I'm just coming over and removing these creases. You don't want to just paint straight onto your image because then you're going to lose the original textures um, and shadows of your background um, and that can make baby look like they're floating which isn't a good look. So you can see there I'm just sampling and brushing over. To see how far we've got so we've removed those creases really well now there is a little bit i don't know if you can see i've spilled a little bit of this brush over onto the baby so next to this um the blanket fix layer that you're on there's a white box you click that that's the layer mask select a black brush and just rub over to um to hide that effect anywhere you've accidentally gone over or a little bit too much white means show black means hide Let's click black, black onto the um, blah blah blah, back onto this blanket fix layer now. Now you'll see here, there are some creases here, but the fabric has texture in, and the creases are very sharp. So we're going to start as before, sampling and bringing it over. But this on its own is not going to be enough to completely remove those creases. In fact, I'm going to bring the flow up just a little bit so I can move a bit far. Oh, got my brush hard. So I can move just a little bit faster. Remember, keep sampling from areas close by, especially if you have a gradient kind of coming from shadows into, um, into light. And bring that over. And you'll see that it's definitely listening the creases, but it's not completely removing them from the image. You can also use this action to balance out the background too. Um, you know, it's just turning all over. So there are some very bright areas here. I can use this to just lightly tone back in. It's kind of multi-purpose. You see, we've really lessened those creases up now. With a black brush, come in and make sure you remove anything off baby's skin. So I recommend where the group is here, turning the eye on or off, just to make sure you haven't accidentally painted over anywhere. Because when you're editing, you can kind of go cross-eyed and you don't necessarily see these things at the time. So it's good to turn your actions on or off. So let me show you how to remove these creases. Now you've painted over, you still see some crease there. Click on up here, the Fix Blanket Texture Surface Action. Grab the clone stamp or the patch tool. Patch tool's up here on your spot healing. Clone stamp is just here. If you're using clone, I'd recommend making it soft or medium hardness maybe to soft, not too hard. 
and let's have the flow on around 10 to 15 percent sample next to the crease and just start painting this on now you're going to want to go quite lightly here because you're working directly with the textures of your blanket so make sure you are using um, a texture with integrity nearby, something very similar. Otherwise, um, you're going to end up with an odd pattern um, on the blanket. But doing it this way rather than cloning directly onto your image um, makes much more sense because it does keep the, um, the highlights and the shadows of your image. So I'm just clicking on here, making sure this all lines up. you can see we're just wiping that crease away keeping the integrity of everything there I'm using keyboard shortcuts right now um, if you can hear my keyboard clicking so I've got my finger on alt my thumb sorry on alt to select an area to clone from and I've got my other finger um, on S to go back to the clone stamp if needed pressing H to move S for clone stamp it just makes editing a lot faster. On the LSP Actions website, if you'd like to learn more about keyboard shortcuts, I do actually have a free guide you can download with all the common keyboard shortcuts included. So now we have a much smoother blanket. So let's see before and after there. Those creases are gone first by painting over onto this layer here, the blanket fix, and then using cologne on the fixed blanket texture. Super easy, really. Um, it just takes a little bit of time and a bit of patience. Make sure you keep your brush flow low. So that's how to remove blanket creases using the action, the blanket crease fixer in the LSP Signature Newborn Photoshop Action Suite. And you can catch the rest of the video tutorials over on the LSP Actions website at www.lsp-actions.com. I'm Lauren. Thanks for watching.